Hi guys, Todd here. Today I shall be freezing my backside off in a shed. It is, it's cold today. But anyway, um, we're going to be having a look at the, the drone 250C by Lost Vape. Now, many of you will know about the drone. It was a dual 18650 squonker that Lost Vape produced in the past. It was very popular. And it was also quite hard to get a hold of. They, they only made so many. And uh, there was there's always been a clamouring for them. But there have been other dual 18650 squonkers that have come along since then. Well, they've now come back with this. So, this is basically, once again, it's the drone. You recognise the shape. It's, it's the same body, effectively, styling-wise. It's the materials that have changed. And because of the materials, it is so much lighter. I mean, it's a lot lighter. You're going to be paying about £120 in the UK. Uh, just checking on the internet just now, and I see that Steam Island have them coming mid-December. And I think that's the same for everybody. It's going to be about the 15th of December before you can actually buy these. Everything else I'll cover in the close-ups and the summary at the end. Now the packaging is much the same as before, I do believe. It's the same as the triad and whatnot. You know, you've got this going on. We'll have identification on the outside of the box as well. Magnetic flap and everything should fall out here. So we have warranty guidelines, we have a user manual, and we also have a couple of leads here. So DNA 250C, you can use this as a power bank. So yeah, you've got this little thing here, so you can you know, plug this into the USB port on the device, plug in a USB device and charge your phone if you want. And also you will have another USB lead here, you know, if you want to connect it to your PC, or you can also charge. This does actually have two amp charging. Now the main update on this one is the body material. It's Ultim. Uh, so this one you can see they've got Ultim going on right around here. This is the black framed one. I do actually have a, another a prototype here. This was, you can see we've got a silver frame on this one. And uh, I'll pop up a little photo showing you some of the other colour schemes that are available. But for this video we're going to stick with this one. Now when this arrives, uh, i just pull my door off at the back here you should find two soft silicon bottles inside. Now I'll not lie, when they first sent this on, I did actually think they'd sent me on a single 18650 squonker with dual bottles. Uh, but um, no, the, the, so this one just comes out, so you've got a, a clear one and you have an Ultim one on the other side. Now these hold seven milliliters of juice. Uh, I've double checked that because they are big bottles, and uh, they look like big bottles, but yeah, it's a solid 7ml capacity, it's, you know, a lot of these bottles it states one thing, but it's not really, but yeah, 7 millilitres. Uh, stainless steel threading up the top, it's very, very easy to undo this and pop your juice in, and as always you can still top fill with this as well if you so desire. I had no issues getting my uh, bottles in and out. I just tend to stick my nail underneath the stainless steel part here and just pop that like that. I'm doing this upside down, excuse me. Grab that at the bottom there and then this just pops out like that. Fill her up and stick it back in. Uh, no big shakes, it's, it's quite straightforward and the bottle goes in and out no problem. But just to point out again, I, I think the old drone, uh, going on what I've read, uh, it used the, you know, the stiff bottles, but these are soft silicon. Going around the other side, we have our battery compartment, and you can see we've got the two negatives down the bottom, positives up the top, it's clearly indicated. Down the bottom, spring-loaded. That's what's going on down here. You have your ribbon, and I have no issues putting my batteries in. They go in pretty easy. Uh, no issues with the wraps getting damaged when I'm pulling the batteries out. It's pretty good in that respect. Now you can see we have two magnets up the top here. Uh, there's no magnets down the bottom. I think that's just held on by friction. And you can see on the door here, we've got another two magnets here. And you can see, I think this is, I mean, it's Ultim. I think this has been vapored uh, to get the, you know, see-through. So it's not really like a dirty yellow, but the door goes on no problem at all, like that. And 
you've got this little window here for squonking with. Now one thing they have done is they have put a little lip just here. You can see that there uh, because the original prototype, I think I can show you it here, it didn't actually have it so there was flex going on there but on the, the retail version because of that little lip there's no flex whatsoever. We do have this small window for squonking. Um, the only real, that's not a biggie, but it is, it's something that kind of niggles me a little bit, is this is plastic. It's not sharp as such, but if you can hear that there, it does mean that, you know, if you dig your thumb or your finger in, you it's a little bit rough here. It's just a little bit rough. Nothing major, but um, it's, it's just one of these things that niggles me and so I'm pointing it out. Now the mod is about 90, 95, 96 millimetres in height. It's quite a tall affair and yes, I will say it's just dual 18650. I know a lot of people were expecting something like 21 or the uh, 2700s, but this is just dual 18650. They are effectively using the same, you know, it's, it's basically the same as the old drone as in body shape. Uh, if they'd gone for 21700, they would have to have done a whole redesign of this and made the mod bigger. Uh, if I've taken 21700s and actually held them inside here, and this shape wouldn't have worked, it would have had to have come out a little bit. But, uh, so, yeah, 18650s. Uh, spinning round once again, we've got this uh, black anodized frame going on here. We have a drone on the bottom, and uh, yeah, on the front we have the DNA 250C. Now the theme that comes with it, this is just a bog standard theme. There's nothing exciting going on here at all. But as always, you can go along to I think I'll put a link in the description. Um, to the Evolve website and you can download so many themes. I've covered this before in the past, but you know, just pushing my, my center button here, I can make a selection. I can go through the different material types. Obviously you've got replay as always. I mean, the, the manual that comes with the Lost Vape gear does go into the whole replay thing a fair old bit. Uh, they're quite an advocate for that. But it's a DNA 250C. Now this is a dual 18650, so this is putting out 200 watts. And if we just pop that down here, and if I start clocking this up, There we go, 200 watts. Now the 200 watts is what I would expect for two 18650s. Uh, once again, you know, the DNA 250C, it can go higher, but it depends on the battery configuration. If you're losing LiPos, 2S, 3S, 4S, three 18650s, that all dictates how high the wattage will go. So for this one, it's just 200 watts. No issues with the, the buttons here. I mean, it's just, they just feel like the, you know, it's as much the same as the Triad uh, and Nice clicking button there as well. USB port on the front. Uh, other things that I feel I should point out is if we go up top, uh, now this has changed as well. Now you can see here, hopefully, that this Ultim piece actually covers everything. So that this little, you know, the 510 is exposed, obviously, but we have this Ultim plate going on around here. Now I'll also say is they have slightly reworked the the tubing inside here because if you look I have to take this off you can see that your your nozzles coming up here and your 510s here so the piping actually comes up inside and kind of goes around at an angle but what I'll do is I'll pop some juice in just now and I'll show you the the flow rate now this is the the Typhoon BTD that I've got here and just I'm just going to give this bottle just a, a gentle squeeze and there we go, let go, and it'll take away the excess. Now I will say this is, yes, I, I don't have any real issues with the squonking on this, but I'll cover that more back up top. So how has life been with the drone 250C from Lost Vape? Right, uh, as I said, uh, I have had the prototype for quite a long time, and um, there have been some changes, and I actually, Whilst it's not my kind of squonker, because obviously being very posh and la-di-da, uh, I like my little 18650 tiny little squonkers, so this is something very different. 
it's comfortable to squonk with. I mean, it's, it's the same as body shape as the previous version. Now you can see that there and fits just in the little cusp of your hand there, hold it there, fire away, I can squonk with my thumb and jobs are good in. Actually, I'll have a vape. Very nice. Uh, that's actually because we're go away because we're going full ultim here i've got the, the highly polished this is my skyfall from e smoke guru ultim top cap ultim drip tip and it just looks very very nice on there uh, now obviously this is a 22 mil rda you're, you're going to get it. 30 mil you'll get it on there if you have a 30 mil squonking atty uh, but the 510 centralized like that yeah thumbs up I will say, now I did in the close-ups, I took a photo, I uh, took this to bits, had a look inside. Now the pipe is, it's not kinked, but it comes round, it's curved. Uh, now the flow rate, as I showed you with the, the Typhoon BTD, uh, squonk away, juice comes up, gets pulled back down, no issues. It does take a tiny little bit more effort to squonk than I am used to with my my other squonk bottles and um, it does work but it's just a little tiny bit more pressure than you may be used to now it does stay eight mil on the bottle now I measured it out at seven mil um, uh, maybe I'm wrong but uh, I made it out to be seven mil uh, it does seem with such a big mod I mean it's a tall mod I wish I could get a bigger bottle in there uh, you know, with it being dual 18650 and 7ml of juice, but that's me just bumping my gums. The bottle's nice, it's got a nice soft pressure to it, no issues there. You get the two bottles, so that's all good and gravy. Um, yeah, the batteries go in and out, I've no issues with that. I know a lot of people were expecting or wanting a dual 21700, but bear in mind 21700s are bigger batteries, so this would have been bigger and I think as it stands right now it's it's as big as I really want any squonker to be. The main difference is that compared to the earlier version this is a lot lighter. I mean it doesn't feel like a dual 18650 squonker. It's still heavy but it's not nearly as heavy as the original drone, not by a long shot. And I will say that the doors are backwards compatible according to the guys at Lost Vape, so this door should fit on the old drone and vice versa. You've now obviously got 200 watts, uh, so you've got 200 watts. Remember, depending on the DNA 250C, I mean, it'll go up to 400 watts, but it depends on the, the battery configuration. And I may be wrong, um, but I'm pretty sure it's with this battery setup, it's 10 volt output. I'm sure the DNA 250C goes up to 12, if I'm right. If I'm wrong, feel free to correct me in the, you know, the comments below, but I'm pretty sure it's 10 volts. And, and that's really, oh, just to show you, uh, you can see here, I put a different theme on. So I've got the yellow and the yellow, um, black and black. It's, it's, we're all matchy matchy here. Um, do I have any major negatives with this? Not really, it's just like as I said, you know, the cut out in the door here, if you dig your thumb or your finger in, it can, it's a little bit in the sharp side, it's not going to cut you in half or anything like that, but it's something to bear in mind, and also when you're squonking, if I, you know, I spin it around like that and squonk, there's, there's no movement in the door at all, but if I don't maintain a pressure against this side and I squonk, then sometimes I do get a little bit of movement in the door, but I'm just, I'm holding it like that, squonk, no problem. I will say, however, that this is, it's a left, not a lefty, it's not for lefties. If you're a left-handed vapor, then you're, you're going to be pushing like that and then pulling your fingers back and digging in there. Going back to the bottle, I will say that getting the bottle in and out is, it's dead easy. I have no issues with getting the door off, it just pulls off like that and once again I just stick my nail in there and there we go. It's, it's dead easy getting the bottle in and out. Uh, I really do not have many issues with this at all. It's once again it's maybe not my kind of thing, it's maybe a bit bigger than I would normally like but if you want a dual battery squonker with 
seven mil, seven point five maybe capacity, and you you like the DNA two fifty, which has the replay, and I will give a big thumbs up to the replay feature again. It's one of my favourite software features this year. Uh, I, I really do enjoy using replay, and you, obviously you have it built into the DNA two fifty C. Previous drone fans, I think, will love this. And I think if you're looking for a dual 18650 squonker, then it's not bad. Yes, it's tall, it's very light. I think they've done a good job. It's a good refresh, it's a good update to an existing mod. Uh, and I'm going to stop there. Thank you to Lost Fate for sending this on. To you guys, as always, thank you so, so much for watching, putting up with the waffling. And until next time, bye for now.